Hello guys, Obnoxious Mods here with a quick tutorial on how to use tinfoil going forward for firmware 19 plus. Not sure if it's a configuration issue, but I find on Horizon OS firmware 19 plus, uh, tinfoil will not uh, just work um, without some extra steps. So let's go ahead and show you guys. Let's get started. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is you'll need a game, either a game uh, that that will run without a cartridge or a cartridge game. It doesn't really matter. You need a game that opens. So let's put in this cartridge and. Um, so, let's, let's just show let's show what happens if you're trying to put putting tinfoil right now. Let's try and open tinfoil from so the homebrew menu and applet mode, and we get failed to list users, whatever, shutting down, blah blah blah. So that's not good. So we need to first open up homebrew menu in game mode instead of applet mode. For the easiest way to do that is um, so just hold the bumper, not the trigger, hold bumper, and while the game is opening, um, and it will inject the homebrew menu into the game, which will. Now Apple mode is not here, correct, and we can go open up tinfoil. Easy peasy. That is the first, that's the easy method. Um, not as not the convenient one. This is the convenient method. So now what you want to do for this one, you do not need a game. You can just take the game out. Whatever it doesn't matter. And what you can do now is go open open up album. You can do this in Apple mode. It will tell you you can't, but you can. So in Apple mode, to go open up Tinu installer. Um, to get your console set up like mine, you can use the super zip in the description. I will probably make a tutorial on how to set up the super zip at some point. I don't know. Check my channel for that, maybe. Might, maybe there, might not. Anyways, once you're in Tenmu Installer, you want to go to uh, Install from SD Card. And you want to go down to... Keep going. To to Switch. And then go to... Go down until you... F oops. Go down until you find uh, Tinfoil, I believe. Tin foil, there you go, and then go down to NSP, and you will find tinfoil forwarder.nsp. Hit A on that, and then go to install to SD card, invalid, that's fine, just do a yes, I understand the risks, no ticket has been found, that's fine, and then do not delete it. And then once that is done, you will have tinfoil on your home screen, and it should just open. Okay, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to get content. So the first thing you're going to need to do is you need to go to your internet section in the system settings and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Mine is an open network, so that'll take real two seconds for me to do, and it still connect without a password, but you'll have to put a password in for your network probably, unless you also host a free network. Um, if you do host an open network, I highly recommend you host it where it doesn't have access to um, your, your devices, because this is like separate from my actual Wi-Fi network. Anyways, um, different video for that. But anyways, um, so once you have a Wi-Fi connection, you want to go make sure that your time is set correctly. Go to system and then do a uh, date and time. And then let's go ahead and turn that off and then change date and time. So it's currently October. So let's go put this to 10. And then the day is 23. And then the time is uh, 1829. Yours might be AM, PM. Either of them is fine. Just make sure it's proper. And once those are both set, you can go back into tinfoil, go down to the file browser, and we're going to add two options here. We're going to add one that I um, host myself that doesn't have that many games. I will not put this in the description. You will have to copy it from the video. Um, doesn't look great, but it, they're trying to avoid detection. And you can make sure to put these in exactly correct. And you can put the title as anything, really. Just put it, I just like to name it Games. And once that is done, we'll do hit minus again to open up that menu to add these. And then we'll put in the other one. This one has way more games, but I do not own this one. So it could go down or just stop working or stop doing something it was doing before. Just suddenly, and it will be completely out of our control. But uh, it works right now. Hopefully it stays that way. We call this one GH. Now... All we need to do is reopen tinfoil to make them start working. And uh, once they've opened, 
you will now want to browse to, uh, you'll have a few options to install games here. Let's just, uh, let it start. You get loaded. And once it's loaded, it'll refresh. <laughs> Anyways, once it's fully loaded, you'll get these little things. If the text is black here, it doesn't matter that much, but if you, the text is black, just reopen tinfoil. Uh, if you're having the the, tech, the black text issue, just reopen tinfoil, but it doesn't matter that much. It matters more for when you're you're adding these uh, stuff. When you're adding before, like in the first launch, you won't be able to add them with the black text glitch, so just reopen until you don't have the black text glitch. Uh, easiest way to get games now is just go into the recommended section and just install a game that you want. Say you, you see a game here like The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, you just hit A on it, then hit A again for install. And it will start installing it. When when it's done, you'll find it on the home screen here, and you'll just be able to open it. Now that is pretty much it. Um, if you want to use mine, let me just go cancel this in the queue so it doesn't glitch out for us. I think it's X or something or Y. There we go. So if you want to use my little tinfoil thingy, go down to the games one. The first one we added. Um, this takes a little second to load and you will see all these titles let's go find a game you want so you want to install bastion just hit a on it there's an error i don't know why but it's the same thing as the other one I, i'm sure i'll fix it in a little bit but it's the same thing you literally just you find it and you hit a on something and you hit a again and it'll start installing it for you and it'll appear in your queue and it'll just go and when it's done it'll be it'll be here and it'll just work Thank you very much for watching, guys. Mm. Mm. Yeah.